Hey everybody, the career mode expert back here again to bring us into February. It was an exciting January and we're gonna build on that with another big month. We've got leads, and then on the 10th, a huge game against our big rivals Ipswich, then Preston, Bolton, Bristol City, and Sheffield, who we've played many times this season already, once again to finish the month off. Our only target this month is to grind out results here. The game against Leeds is going to be huge in deciding the season for us. And with injuries to our big players, Hernandez and Souza, it's going to be down to the players to work hard and keep ourselves afloat. But to kick our run of games off, we've got Leeds first. They're in third place behind us. And there's a lot at stake here. They're currently five points below us. And a loss would make a huge difference in them closing the gap between us. But here we are, I'm feeling pretty confident about the game. There are a few changes to our side. We've got Philip Heiss filling in at left back for Lewis, and he'll be holding down that spot for the rest of our season. It's Puki out on the left hand side of our attack for the injured Hernandez and Souza, and Morris taking up our striking role. Leeds have a throw in now, they're really putting the pressure on early. Ball whipped in and it's cruel to punch away. It's Phillips there on the follow-up. A great ball into the middle. Hernandez has a shot. It's in the back of the net. It's an early goal and Leeds look up for the challenge today. Really poor defending from our side. Nice block there. Puki recovers. It's Steeperman. Back to Puki. And we're on the break now. Morris wide open in the middle. Gets that ball. And plays another ball through to Leitner. Great touch. Has a go. It's a composed touch and a fantastic finish. One to one, and Norwich equalizes. Leitner through to Buendia. Takes a great touch. But the second one is poor. The ball gets away from him, and a really tight shot. The goalie's there to make a save. Leeds plays it short off the corner. The ball up for O'Kane. A touch and a shot. It's just wide. Working the ball around Steeperman. Great back heel. Godfrey works it up. Leitner has a go from the edge of the box. Nice technique on the shot, but not on target. All right, so it's half time, and I've noticed that leads are pressing really high. I want Puki and Morris both up top for these counterattacks, and I'm going to try to condense the midfield a bit. It's a narrow formation, and we're just going to try to work our way down the center when we get on the break. It's Heiss. Puts it up for Morris. A header, and it's over the bar. Great opportunity. Norwich dominating the second half, and it's Buendia up now. Can he get a good cross off? Aaron's with a great run, puts that in. It's Pookie in the center, slams it home. Great goal by Norwich. We've looked so much better in the second half. Leeds not able to deal with the change in formation, and it's our direct play getting us a lot of action. Pookie doing what he does best in the center. And here we go with the substitution. It's Zimmerman on to center back, Steeperman coming off, and we're pushing Lovin into the midfield to try to secure our team. Great movement by Norwich. It's Aaron's up top. Swings a ball in, just cut out ahead of Pookie. Morris down for Leitner. A volleyed shot, and it's wide. And with 10 minutes remaining in the match, we bring on Serbany up top. Hasn't featured for us yet this season, but with our lack of offensive options right now, he might have an important part to play. Morris, well done. And a great pass once again. It's the sub up top. Has a go at goal, and it's wide of the post. Pookie, well to win the ball back. He's put under pressure, though, by Douglas. Who whips a ball in. Roberts, straight at Cruel. And now Norwich with the ball. Try ball pushing it out wide. Serbany, nice touch and a great pass. Try ball with the return. Deflected and out for a corner. Corner comes in. It's Serbany, rises to meet it and puts that home for a third goal. Norwich are leading three to one and it's the surprising substitute who makes the difference out here. Not enough time for Leeds to have a response. And that is game. It's a fantastic showing from Norwich, coping really well with the absence of one of our best players, Hernandez, and our players chipping in all over the pitch to ensure a definitive victory over third place Leeds United.
We've extended our lead to eight points and a game still in hand. Things are really looking good for us at this moment in time. And Serbini actually requesting to come off the bench. He played so well in this last game. I'm going to go ahead and give him the nod above Morris since we do need to be careful with our rotation at the moment. But for now, it's a huge game against our rivals Ipswich. They're not challenging us for promotion, but it'll be a very high intensity game that means so much to our fans. And let's keep our good run of form going. A good run of possession. It's up to Heiss. Fantastic run from the left back. Chips that one in, can't get ahead to it. But it's Leitner with the volley from outside the box. Perfect technique on the shot. But it's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Our center mid looks a better player every single game, and he's really established himself so far this season. And now a good chance from the corner. The ball played in, and it's Serbini on the end of it, cleared off the line, and it looks like it's a goal. The striker makes good on his chance and delivers once again. Norwich up with an early lead in this game, and looking bright. And it's Ipswich now. The ball out to the wing. Played in, Loman is there, but he's beaten again by his man. Cruel, fantastic save. And another save on the follow-up. Our keeper has been in inspired form these past two months. The ball in from the corner now. It's a shot at goal, cleared off the line. It's a bike into the bar, and the third shot goes into the back of the net. We're just unable to clear that ball away, and it's a really sloppy goal to concede. 1-1, the score is level. We're two-thirds of the way through the game, and it's Tete on for Tribal to freshen up the midfield a bit. Our usual captain hasn't featured much since his injury, because we've had players like Godfrey and Tribal shining in his absence. And Serbini through to Pookie now. Centers it. Steeperman over the bar! It was a great chance. Big mistake from our center mid. That could have been the goal to put us in front. Leitner spins and finds Pookie, running in behind. A bit of hesitation has a go and it's blocked by the defender. Time running out here. Ipswich working the ball back, played up by the keeper. It's Ward who heads it out of play and that is game. It's a disappointing game in the end, a tie with our rivals Ipswich. I thought we could have done better, but we do come away with a point and we just gotta keep our heads up and keep moving on. All right, so up next here is Preston North End, and we're looking to keep the results coming. We've established ourselves firmly in second place, and we don't want to let that slip at this stage of the season. It's Tribal into the midfield for Steeperman, who's starting to look a little fatigued. But besides that, it's the same lineup as usual. Norwich with possession now. The ball is given away, though. Pookie with a good pressure, and Godfrey there to clean up. We have the ball once again. Cuts it back, we're working it through the center. A little bit of space here, and it opens up for Morris who takes the shot. It looks like it's wide, but I think that actually went through the back of the net. I have never seen anything like that. Strange scenes here, but the goal does stand and it's Norwich in front. The ball comes in and we fail to clear it. It's a shot in the back of the net. It's a horrible piece of defending. We should have just cleared it out. Heist with the mistake and Godfrey isn't able to recover. It's sloppy play and we're gonna need to come back from that. Preston plays out of pressure really well there and now they're on the break. Charging up the field. That ball put in and it's loven away. Great defensive header. And now it's Norwich with a bit of a break on. Buendia sends it out wide to Pookie. Who looks to center it. And it's a fantastic goal from one end to the other. It's Tribal getting his chance in that center mid position. Good run and a well finished goal. The pass from Buendia to Puki was perfect. And that final ball from Puki was as well. 2-1 to one, Norwich are back in front. Well done there from Norwich to work it out of pressure. And now we've got a bit of space going forward. Boy, Dia works it back out to Aarons. Can he get a good ball in? It's over the defense and Tribal can't get on the end of it. A nice break, but just couldn't play the final ball. 
It's a great ball through from Preston. An early cross in, and it's right at Cruel. Good chance. And Preston, direct play, a long ball. It's a volley effort goal. Cruel makes the save. Our players are starting to really look tired. They've been putting in a lot of minutes with little rotation. And now it's going to be Pinto on, and, and Aaron's pushing up into Buendia's usual right mid position. We have a corner now. The ball whipped in, and it's away. Aaron's at the top of the box. And it's a spectacular goal! Aaron's with the volley from outside the box. What a finish from our right back. He did everything perfect, and you won't see many goals better than that this season. He catches the ball so well, and it is in the top corner. Nothing the keeper can do about that. It's Tete on for Godfrey now. We gotta start rotating some of our players, because there's a lot of fixtures this month, and we're already suffering from fatigue. Time running out for Preston now, and it looks like we'll be headed to a win. Pressuring high up the field. And they're having a hard time working the ball out. But they do recover. And it's Bowden now with the ball. Close there to save us. And that's full time. A great win by Norwich. Three more points on the board and we march on. And we'll just keep plowing ahead. Next up here is Bolton away. A win here could put us 11 points above third place and close the gap to Stoke down to four points. So let's get out there and see what we can make happen. The team looking really tired right now and we're struggling with not enough rotation. It's gonna be Lovin in that defensive mid position, Pinto in for Ahrens, and Passlack in for Heiss. A decent amount of rotation here, but I think it's still a good side. And here we go. The pressure is on. Injuries have forced us into heavy squad rotation, and we need to test the depths of the entire team here to see if we can still be getting results. It's Buendia up top. It's Serbini finishes an early goal, and it's our striker once again getting on the score sheet. He has surprised me all season, continuing to grab goals every time he makes an appearance. What a great kind of player to have come off the bench for us. And now it's Bolton at the other end. Rips a shot off the post. The deflection still not dealt with. Followed up once again and it's in the back of the net. One to one. Two goals inside 15 minutes. And it's been a crazy start to the match. Tete with it now. Up top. Pass to Pookie. Has a first time shot. A great save from the keeper. Pinto up to Aaron's beats his man really easily, still in space on the wings, puts a nice ball in, and Serbini taken out there, can't get onto the ball. Norwich resets, it's Heiss, Cross comes in, and it's Tete heads it home! The club captain with his first goal of the season, and it's a late winner for Norwich! Heiss with a really nice cross in, and Tete does so well to get ahead of the defender there. And that's full time, Norwich with another huge win and we're starting to pull ahead here. With each passing games our chances at promotion are looking more and more likely. And how about that, 62 points, 11 ahead of Leeds. And we go in to face Bristol in good form. And here we go, it's back in front of the home fans. We've been in hot form lately, so I'm hoping we can keep that up and push for a strong finish to the season. Well done there by Buendia. It's Aaron's now. Puts it in. Buendia blasts that one outside the box, and it's a great save. And Aaron's gives the ball away in a really bad position. It's a free kick from right outside the box. We got to be careful here. Steeperman away, and it's Leitner up to Buendia. No one ahead of him now. Finds Pookie out wide on the other side, but it's a poor touch. Hunt has it now, and that's half time. It was a pretty boring first half. Neither team really had a good look at goal. Let's see if we can establish ourselves a little more in this second half. 
and Lovin. Great ball out to Puki. Poor control though, the ball given away. Those passes out from the back have been so dangerous. Puki finds him back. It's Steeperman. A low shot, great save by the keeper. That looked to be on target, and what a big save. Doesn't make anything of it. The whistle blows, and that is game. It's a frustrating one. Pretty boring from start to finish. A few half chances. We take a point away though, and we're still in fantastic shape. And now to the last game of the month against Sheffield United. We've played them a bunch this season already, and they did knock us out of the FA Cup. All right, the players are ready, and here we go. A bit of rotation in the side today. Serbini starts up top again to give Morris a little bit of a rest. And it's Paslak out on the right side for Buendia, who's been struggling recently. And it's Paslak now. Whips a ball into the box. It's Puki. A horrible miss that is so wide of the net. He tries to power at home and just gets the accuracy wrong. It's a shocking miss early in the game. And now Sheffield on the other end. They got the ball on the wing. Cross comes in and it's headed home. We had the opportunity at the other end of the field, but Sheffield is the team that goes in front. one nothing, and we need to pick it up. Aaron's with it now, charging up the field. A nice ball out wide to find Heiss. And he puts an early ball into the box. It's Serbini with the volley. Cut out by the defense and it's halftime. And now Sheffield with the ball. Lovin way out of position there trying to close down. His man beats him. It's put into the center and a diving header. Fantastic finish. But really poor play from our center back to get pulled out of position there. It's not the first time it's happened this season. And he really needs to improve the defensive side of his game. We might be seeing Zimmerman take a starting 11 spot back until he's able to cope. Norwich trying to make something happen now. Puki taking his man on. Beautiful spin. It's an outrageous solo goal from Timu Puki. A world-class bit of skill. He's been fairly quiet since he's been pushed out onto the wing due to our injury crisis. But that goal highlights just how class he is. A real contender for goal of the season there. He did it all himself. Sheffield working that ball out wide. Lovin there to close down. The ball is returned. Cross put in. Man wide open in the middle and he finishes. And again, it's terrible positioning from our center backs. Lovin is all over the field right now. Just looking lost in defense. And it's largely due to him that we conceded two of these goals. That's game and it's a loss for Norwich once again against Sheffield United. And we still have a lead over Leeds, but if we keep playing like this, it'll continue to diminish. But in fantastic news, Onel Hernandez has actually been cleared to rejoin the team's training sessions way ahead of schedule. And we really needed to hear that because the team is starting to slip up. And with that, we've come to the end of February. It's been a difficult one, but we've been up to the challenge and are still performing well this season. Once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. Next Friday, it'll be another episode for the March edition of this series. So make sure to tune in for that. I'm the FIFA expert, and I'll see you all next time.